the other day, we got our door latches in. Uh, I think what we should do this around here, or at least to get us going, is uh, get our holes lined up, or at least where they're supposed to be. Well, I think we've actually made the holes, but we need the access holes on top here to uh, get at the body mounts and stuff. So I know we got, I don't know, one, four, I think there's six in the cab. And then we'll have to drill these. These other ones are back here. They're not done yet. And then I made holes, but they're kind of wrong for this back sill panel. So we're going to kind of get those mocked up. And then we can kind of, huh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess we'll start to mock up the steering. We'll work on that. Although, I'm just thinking about it. I'm still waiting on my order. It's because it's got my steering joint in there. <clears throat> Maybe I'll check. Maybe, maybe I have one over here. I don't know. I don't think so though. In my random cabinet of stuff. I have some random steering joints. I don't know. Looks like it's just a, a double D or something. What is that thing though? That's not the end that I want, but I could make that work. Survey says. Oh. Okay, I gotta try this. We'll be right back. <laughs> nope, that is a negative. That is not right. And sometimes I put some up here, but I don't think I have any. I have some random ones in the shed, but uh, I think that's just like stock GM stuff. It's a not looking good for my steering situation here. Dang it. Like Jeg should have like sent this stuff out already. I'm gonna have to check into that. It's only been like a couple weeks. Hate waiting for stuff. Uh, eh, let's just start with the body. We'll see where we get from there. If anything, we can kind of loosely get our steering set up. And then I probably got to find some different seats. I think that's what I'm going to do. I know people don't dig that. I do like those seats, but they'll probably be better in a little bucket. Uh, like a little tea bucket or yeah, like an open top. I don't know, like a, a little roadster thing. I'm going to dig around, see if I can find some, uh, some kind of bucket seats that'll work in here. They might not be up my alley, but... We could put them in there. They could get reupholstered. They would fit kind of nice. We'll kind of go. We'll kind of go that route, I think. Anyways, first thing. I'm gonna look in the shed for some view joints. See, yeah, I already got distracted. And then we will make a plate for this. I think we'll start with just building a plate that this thing is gonna bolt onto. After, and. Uh, we can kind of jimmy rig and figure out how it's going to mount onto here. We don't have to worry about this section, but we got to make sure the spark plug's good and then this part is okay because the exhaust is, they're going to be headers that are going to come straight out and down. So, wherever this sits, we have some adjustability to it.
The initial plate fits, like the bolts on either side are fine. My dilemma is this one bolt, like if a feller needed to get that out, it's gonna have to, man, there's just a whole lot of suck involved to do it. And we wanna be able to get that bolt. Spark plug is fine. That'll be just a sucker, that one. I think this is just gonna be what it is. Yeah, like this manifold won't be here, so I could clock more, but we got to watch this. We don't want this, we don't want this uh, upper U joint being like maxed out, whatever it's got to do. Like if we did something like that, now that's like crazy. And I want room everywhere, so I want to be able to still adjust it if I had to, and get all the dang bolts out of it. So, looking okay. I think if we do some triangle wedges here, oh man, there's so much suck with that bolt. Depending on my floor pan is, I can probably move this. We'll be able to get at it. It's gonna completely suck. There's no way around it, but it is doable. A guy can get at it. So, we can do some rounding with this plate, dull this plate up a little bit. I think that's going to be the next plan. If you look at this plate, it's pretty square. If you look the way my mount is, it's not so square. I can kind of round some edges and stuff. So we'll pretty this thing up a little bit because this sits here. This will be fine. We'll do a triangle. Well, I guess you want some meat on everywhere, right? Yeah, whatever. We'll figure this out. All right, well, I've learned from the past not to burn a lot of stuff in until you've fully tested things, so. <laughs> I, uh, you see me with a 9 16th wrench, so I was just making sure I could still get a socket on here, so that's how I was spacing this side off. Um, we should have a good shot. 
We only made the one bracket. We've tacked it onto here. This angle doesn't seem terrible. We can still get at our spark plugs. All this stuff should be good. Uh, we'll have to make a gusset on the inside, but we have a lot of framework to do yet after the fact. Uh, so at least if this works with the steering, we're, uh, we should be okay in my eyes. Uh, like we'll just make a gusset on the inside. It's not really a big deal. Like we have plenty of clearance around the motor. It's a little miserable to adjust it, but you can do it without having to take the box off or anything. So I don't know. I call that a win. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Kind of a late start. So I think that's about as far as I'm going to get tonight. Uh, I don't know. Isn't it too bad? We will have to pull the body and address all the holes, but I know all the six holes are good. The pilots have been done in the back, the far back and the, the mid section there. So we're pretty much good to go. Once the body's lifted off, I'll be able to drill through the body to get a good idea and we can make access holes to the nuts because I do want to bolt the body through the frame. That'll be my idea. Well, for the, for four of them will be two are on outriggers and then the four in the back are like separate. So there's a lot of body bounce on this thing. Anyways, I am done for tonight and we will try this again tomorrow. And I have been hunting around in the back here. We have a few scrap cars over there, but nothing has the right width that I need. But I do have some bus seats. I'm not a fan of the height of these, but sure feels like there's a lot of good foam in there, I'll tell you that. Uh, I think, and if I measure right, it's about the right width. So I guess I'm going to... These are by, when we have a bonfire, we have some theater seatings. That's kind of the idea. <laughs> but I think I'm going to take one of these and we're going to try to mock it up and see if it'll work. If I strip the bits off of it, if we can make a nice, I still don't mind my bench seat. I don't quite like the shape of that one, but that is like way too tall. So let's see if we can make that work in the car. All right. Well, I busted that off. We dragged it in. This is what we got. I don't think I'm going to use any of the framing, but let's first try it, see how it fits in the, the car. Uh, I'm going to just take the zip cut quick. We are just going to zing off this stuff because if we can use some of this frame, why not, right? Uh, I do want to redo the back because I think that thing, if it does fit, that would be just terrible and too dang big. But uh, before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's uh, just cut these legs off. Just do a really quick scabby cut so we can uh, fit this thing in the car. Is crazy. I mean, this is too tall, but Holy, eh? we gotta come forward. We gotta come forward with that. Switch to the brake. School bus seat for the win. <laughs> This stuff is what it is. My wheel, I think. Well, I guess we're kind of good we didn't go with anything too good. I don't know. It's not bad. I mean, we're still in that steel frame, so we can come down a little more here. Well, like an inch. That's about it. But, like, I don't know. This feels comfortable. I don't like this though. I think we gotta bring this down to the height of the package tray. Other than that, I don't know. Ah, uh, with a shifter right there. Oh heck yeah. We gotta lean, we gotta lean it back, but we can cut that and kinda bring that back a bit. All right. Well, let's skin this sucker and see what we can do with it.
Squat seat looks really funny when you uh, pull all the stuff off it, don't it? How crazy is that? But if you look, it doesn't look so bad in its bare form here. Like, uh, it's, it's not terrible, but, you know, I'd like to keep it at the package tray, so this would have to come down two inches. But it was kind of weird. So I had measured the seat, so it's actually like five inches because there's three inches of foam off the top. So the bar actually sits in here somewhere, kind of thing. So, I mean, we have lots of foam. I kind of hacked it when I took it apart, but as you've seen, I got more seats, so it's not really an issue. So we'll leave this as it is, and we're gonna chop the rail down five inches, or the seat down five inches, and put it back together and see, see how, how it looks, if it's any good. I mean, I got lots of seats to practice on if I screw this one up. So anyways, let's, uh, we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna chop five inches out and we're gonna see what it looks like.
great. Well, everything about this thing feels good, but holy Dinah, that foam is stiff. Like it feels okay here, but this is like a really hard edge. It's not that comfortable, I'll tell you that. It's like, if the whole thing was that, I guess it'd be okay, but it's sort of soft here and kind of hard there. Hmm, I'm a little mixed on it. I mean, the bottom feels good. Man, depending on your wheel. Some things didn't work out the way I thought here. This is okay if the column comes here. Hmm. I don't know why things would be a little more straight. <laughs> oh man, I am hot and done. And it's kind of late. I think we're gonna call it there. Holy. Well, I am hot and sweaty. The seat, it's not too bad. It's, you know, it's a little narrow, but it's basically, I think I have the same seat in my T for the most part, other than I have, no, I have a single bench. Like the bottom works good. The top is a little, it's hard. Like really hard. Something in this edge doesn't, it's not that comfortable yet. We'll work on it. I think we'll get it. I kind of think I know what's in there because I noticed when I was working over here that uh, there's some styrofoam in there. So, like it's on this foam edge in there. So I think if I get the styrofoam out, that seat will actually feel kind of uniform. I think that will work. Oh, yep. Other than that, I mean, it, it feels good. I'm pretty happy with it. It does kind of ditch the room. Well, there's still room behind the seat, but I have to make this swivel or, or hinge the front of the seat so the whole seat flips forward. The steering and things are getting a little odd, but I think we'll make it all work. Something will give. It's just when you sit in the seat, it doesn't have that. For some reason, I thought this was gonna be more centered and it's gonna be offset a little bit. Which, whatever, it is what it is. I thought the steering column would be right there, but it's gonna end up being over a little bit. Which, I guess, whatever, it'll, it is what it is. The guy's got, <laughs> I'm pretty committed, it's done, so. Anyways, well, we got the seat made. It would have been nice to find a set of buckets, but I don't have any, so I couldn't find. So we went with a bus seat, that's what we did. I don't know, it'll be fine. We can always change it, that's not a big deal. And then we got our steering tacked in and her body's kind of squared up. So I think, I think we've made progress. <laughs> uh, the seat, I don't know, like I say, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the seat, but I know it'll probably still need some work, which we'll figure it out. I think it needs to be probably still squared up, but we'll address that another day. I do think once I get that foam out of the side, it'll be good. But a more squared seat would fit better. I don't care that it's a little narrow. It would just fit the, the car better. Hey folks, I was going to mention, we started a second channel, uh, Esther and I. That one, uh, we are going to, I'm basically putting a lot of the stuff that I don't uh, think fits in with this channel. It's a small, like smaller repairs, stuff like that. Uh, the channel's called uh, Half-Ass Customs, The Other Half. Uh, we'll probably even have my wife might be doing some filming, like kind of popping in and out uh, with me working on random projects, things like that. Um, I want to focus this channel more on uh, just these bigger builds and probably like Will It Runs, like stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Check it out if you like. I know some folks wanted to wanted me to start up a Patreon or do something and um, uh, I didn't want to do that or the whole membership thing. I wasn't, at this time, I'm not bothering. I enjoy just making this stuff and I'm happy you folks actually like watching it. So yeah, go check out the other channel. There's gonna be, I don't know, there'll be a couple videos on there right now probably already. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna 
kind of upload things. They'll probably be smaller, shorter videos a lot of the time because it might be me just doing, who knows, it could be doing an oil change on something or eventually I'll actually finish fixing that quad. That might be something. <laughs> That's basically where I'm going to do the main focus is just really oddball things that just don't, you know, doesn't really fit in to my channel very well, like this main channel. Anyways, again, it's just half ass Customs, the other half. Uh, yeah, thanks. And on that note, I uh, want to thank you folks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.